Hello my dear friends, welcome back to Infigyan. Today in this video, we are going to take up another very very interesting question from quartic equations. 2x power 4 plus 7x cube minus 34x square minus 21x plus 18 equal to 0. So let's get it started by checking our equation at x equal to 0 first. So I will write here x equal to 0. LHS will give us 0 plus 0 minus 0 minus 0 plus 18. And right hand side is 0. So from LHS we are getting 18. RHS is 0 which is not true. So we can say x cannot be equal to 0 for our given specified equation. So I can divide our equation by x square. Let us divide both sides by x square. We can write minus 34x square minus 21x plus 18 divided by x square in RHS 0 divided by x square. Let's divide. We will write here 2x power 4 over x square. So 2x square plus 7x cube over x square, so 7x, minus 34x square over x square, so minus 34, minus 21x over x square, minus 21 over x, and 18 over x square, we will write 18 over x square. RHS is 0. Now we will rearrange and write our terms in LHS 2x square then we will write our last term 18 over x square then we will write our second term 7x and second last term minus 21 over x then we have one term left minus 34 equal to 0 now from this bracket I can take 2 common out and from these two terms, we can take 7 common out and we can write our equation here 2 times in the bracket x square plus 9 over x square. 7 is common. In the bracket, we'll write x minus 3 over x. Then we have minus 34 equal to 0. Now I will consider substitution. I will write let x minus 3 over x. Suppose this is equal to m. Now I will square both sides. So I will write x minus 3 over x whole square equal to m square. Let's apply a minus b whole square formula. We will write x square plus 9 over x square minus 2 times x times 3 over x. This is equal to m square. Now this x and denominator x will cancel out. We will get x square plus 9 over x square minus 6 equal to m square or I can write the value of x square plus 9 over x square will be equal to m square plus 6 which we are going to apply here and this bracket is our substitution m so our equation will become 2 times m square plus 6 plus 7m minus 34 equal to 0. So we will write our equation 2 times m square plus 6 plus 7m minus 34 equal to 0. Let's simplify LHS. We will write 2m square plus 12 plus 7m minus 34 equal to 0 or we can write 
2m square plus 7m minus 22 equal to 0. Now we have to solve this quadratic equation. Let us use quadratic formula. Coefficient of m square is a which is 2 here. Coefficient of m is 7 here and c would be constant minus 22. So m will be equal to minus b plus minus a square root of b square minus 4 times a times c over 2 times a. This will be equal to minus 7 plus minus a square root of 7 square is 49 minus 4 times 2 times minus 22 over 2 times 8 so 2 times 2. This will be equal to minus 7 plus minus a square root of 49 minus times minus becomes plus and 4 times 2 times 22 is 176 over 4. This will be equal to minus 7 plus minus a square root of 2 to 5 over 4. Now 225 is a square of 15, so a square root of 225 would be 15 only, minus 7 plus minus 15 over 4, minus 7 plus minus 15 over 4. With plus sign in between, we will get minus 7 plus 15 over 4. And with minus sign in between, we will get minus 7 minus 15 over 4. So 15 minus 7 is 8 over 4. Minus 7 minus 15 minus 22 over 4. So we are getting 2m values, 2 and minus 11 over 2. Now m was our substitution x minus 3 over x. So I will write x minus 3 over x equal to 2 and minus 11 over 2. So we are going to solve two equations x minus 3 over x equal to 2 and then x minus 3 over x equal to minus 11 over 2. So let's begin with first equation x minus 3 over x equal to 2. As x cannot be 0, so we can multiply our equation by x both sides. Times x times x, we will get x square minus 3 equal to 2x or x square minus 2x minus 3 equal to 0. Now we can factorize here minus 2x can be written as minus 3x plus x minus 3 equal to 0. From first two terms we will take x common out in the bracket we will write x minus 3. From last two terms we will take one common and write x minus 3 equal to 0. So x minus 3 is overall common and second factor would be x plus 1 equal to 0. Now we can use product 0 rule and write either x minus 3 equal to 0 or x plus 1 equal to 0. So from our first equation we will get our first real solution x equal to 3 and from our second equation we will get our second solution negative 1. So 3 and minus 1. Now we will solve our second equation x minus 3 over x equal to minus 11 over 2. x cannot be 0 so we can multiply our equation by x both sides. So I can write x times x x square minus 3 will be equal to minus 11x over 2. 
Now multiply our equation by 2. This side also. So this denominator 2 will get over. We will write our equation 2x square minus 6 equal to negative 11x. Or I can write our quadratic 2x square plus 11x minus 6 equal to 0. Again, we can use factorization method 2x square. We will write as it is our middle term 11x. We will split 12x minus x minus 6 equal to 0. Now we will take 2x common from first two terms and write in the bracket x plus 6. From last two, we will take negative 1 common and write the same term x plus 6 equal to 0. So x plus 6 times 2x minus 1 equal to 0. Now we will use product 0 rule and write either x plus 6 equal to 0 or 2x minus 1 equal to 0. So from first equation we will get x equal to negative 6 and from second equation we will get x equal to half. So we have in total four real solutions. If I will write here x equal to 3, negative 1, negative 6 and half. I hope friends you will like this video. Thank you so very much for watching. Do not forget to like, share and subscribe. Bye bye till next video. Good luck. Take care. Bye bye.